Hello everybody. Good afternoon. Today I'm going to be starting on my new project and what do we have in these two boxes will be more of a surprise to you. And this is one of my uh, newest accusations. The one that we have here in the box to the right is a blower fan. And what we have here in the smaller box to the left is the motor and pulley that goes to it. Uh, <clears throat> this was not something that I ordered. This was actually something that was uh, that was handed down to me. I got it for free. Uh, this was given to me uh, from uh, from an old man that I've been working for. But uh, anyhow, we're going to uh, we're going to unbox these and we're going to go over it. And we're going to see if we can get this thing put together. Okay, now we have the box. The box ripped open. Now we're going to have a look and see what's inside here. It's a squirrel cage fan. Okay, now let's get this box here opened up and see what's inside of this. And this is the motor that it goes to. There's the belt. Well, the belt's somewhere down in here. We'll find that here in a minute. And this is the piece that supports the motor. Let's see, oh, here it is. This is the belt or the pulley. All right, let's go ahead and get these things. Uh, taken out and put on the table here. Okay, everybody, here it is. I've got everything unboxed. It's all sitting here on the table. This is the motor to it. I'm pretty certain that this is not the original original motor. I think that he had actually had just bought this uh, before he gave it to me. Uh, when I was up there, when I was doing a job for him up at his house, he had already had the, uh, he had had the thing sitting on the table and he had already had the thing, he had had the motor as well as the bracket to it, uh, in another, in another room somewhere. But anyhow, uh, here it is. Uh, this is called a squirrel cage fan. It is belt driven and this is one badass fan here. And as you can see, it appears to be in very decent shape. Uh, it, I'm not exactly sure how old it is. Maybe it's from the 60s or 70s. I'm not too sure. It shows, a, it shows normal signs of age use and wear. has little rust spots here and there, particularly just rust surfaces. And this here, I think this is where the motor is mounted. I just need to figure out how the motor is going to be mounted on here. So this is the top of the fan. And this is, uh, I guess this is the, the cord grip. This is where the cord will be, uh, will be uh, gripped into place. And this is the pulley. And um, I'm pretty certain that this is uh, this this is ball bearing operated. There's the bracket that holds the uh, the fan in place. Okay, and here is the inside. It's really not all that dirty. Basically, all I'm going to have to do is just uh, I'll just charge up the uh, the air compressor blow all the dust and whatnot out and uh, get this thing put together and it'll be good to go and uh, these two boards here this is what I'm going to use for, uh, for for the stand of which is mounted on the bottom here we're going to get to that 
And this here, this is the belt. I guess it just goes on like this. It goes on around the pulley. And it's attached to the motor on top of which is mounted. And this is the power cord. This was at, this is actually the power cord that uh that I got for it. This is what will be mounted. It has the capacitor on top. That's the information to the motor here. I'll turn it to where you can see it. Marathon Electric. And there is the the model number. Just take a minute to to read that if you have to. It even has a diagram. Hertz is 60, horsepower 3.4, RPM is 1725. And it draws 115 volts between 208 and 230. There's the code number. I don't know if there's a date on here. Yeah. Just pause it to read it to go over it if you if you need to. This motor was built in Wasu, Wisconsin. There's the model. The model is AVL56C170-2073MP. Okay. One heavy-ass motor, too, by the way. And that's the original pulley. It is slightly warped there, but... I don't think that's going to be a problem. <clears throat> uh, I I have already tested the motor, so we're not going to uh, we're not going to do that on camera. I guess we'll just put the the fan together all at once, and and then we'll start it up. But I guarantee you, it is it basically does even more than what it appears to to do. So. Uh, fond memory that I have of this, uh, we had a couple of these in our family, another childhood fan that dates back, of course. Uh, my grandfather, uh, had one identical to this. This is what, what they used, uh, on the job, you know, for, for construction and hardware. They were used outside. Uh, they were used in shops and garages. I even remember remember it being used inside the house a time or two. But these are great fans, very powerful, good reliable fans. Um, this is this is going to be my my shop fan here. So I'm going to get this thing put together and I'm going to get it good and cleaned up here. Um, I don't think it's going to require a whole lot of maintenance. Uh, I will uh, oil it. I'll just put some oil here, here into the to the bearings. There has a has a decent spin down time to it, so I guess no problems there. But I already know good and well that it's that it that they ha that it has a ball bearing. I know that it's definitely not a, a sleeve bearing, but I'll do some research on Facebook and get some answers uh, and dig into a little bit more about that so well uh let me go ahead and get this thing put together and then we'll see it in action basically what i'll do is is that i'm just gonna since this is the top and that's the bottom these here these will be mounted here on the bottom and i'll just make a little stand out of it just like a little frame and uh, I just need to figure out how exactly I'm going to get the motor mounted on top here. So I'm going to get to work here and get busy. And we'll see where this takes us. I think this is going to work out very well. Well, here we go. Okay, everybody. <clears throat> this is the progress that I've made. Uh, fan cleaned up pretty well here. It's not perfectly clean, but... It surely beats the heck out of out of a uh, filthy it was compared to before. 
Uh, sorry if I wasn't able to, uh, to capture the entire footage of, uh, of the cleaning process. I spent the last two and a half hours cleaning this bastard. Uh, the blades were all caked up with all kinds of dirt and dust and whatnot, so I just took a screwdriver and loosened up as much as the dirt as that I could <clears throat> and blew it out with uh, with my com air compressor here. Cleaned up the cleaned up the uh, the fan housing here. Took my old brush and cleaned down the blades and the inside of uh of the uh, the fan here cleaned up the pulley so I think this is gonna this is gonna work out nicely so basically the next thing the next step that I have to do is is making the stand and what I've already done is this is how this is gonna work the fan is gonna sit like this and these two pieces of uh, wood here they're going to be mounted here to the side. So basically what I did was I just took a marker and I just marked the hole from where the, the, the board comes up against the housing here. Like so. And I'm going to use, I'm going to use long bolts. I'm going to use these bolts and screws here. And this is what what will uh, be mounted in place to the fan. And so, uh, yeah, this will be the stand for it. Once we get, once we've got that done, then we can work on getting the motor mounted and then we'll be good to go from there. So, let's see if I can actually, if I can do this, let's see if this will work. So, let me go ahead and get to work here. And, uh, get this stand put together and see how this turns out hey, everybody okay everybody so this is what I've done now I've just taken these two pieces of board here and I've drilled drilled a couple of holes of each board here and these are the nuts and the bolts so basically uh, what I have to do now is that I will properly get these installed to the fan here and uh, I'll take this board here and I'll just uh, I'll mount, mount this here to the back to give it a more sturdier hold. And uh, hopefully that should work. That'll be a good sturdy uh, hold for the fan. And I guess the next step is to get the motor mounted. And I guess uh, we'll be uh, wrapping this project up. Okay. Here it is. This is the, uh, the mounted stand that I've built for it. I guess this is this will work out nicely. It's nice and sturdy. I really don't see it going anywhere. I've got the bolts very firmly uh, put together in there. And uh, I've got this put together here. I think I'm going to need to tighten that up a little bit more, but uh, I think this will be a, a good sturdy hold for it. So now I guess uh, the next, the last thing that I need to do is to get that thing over there mounted on this. And uh, let's see how well I can go with this. This is the first time that that I've ever put a, put a fan together like this, you know, together. So. Let's uh, let's let's do this. Let's get it done. Okay, everybody. Good afternoon. We are back with our project here. Uh, as you can see, I basically this is what I did yesterday. I blew out the fan and I spent the past two and a half hours trying to get trying to get it cleaned out. And as you can see. It's spruced up there pretty good definitely a lot better compared to what it was before and I have the stand built here for it now I think that's going to be a good sturdy stronghold for it hopefully that won't come apart and the last thing that we need to do is 
is that we're going to get the motor mounted on here and I've finally I've actually found out how this works basically these bolts here that just they slide on into the bracket here this is what holds the motor in place and this little bolt here this is supposed to be the adjustment for uh for the belt you know of how tight you need the belt and uh i watched uh i looked up a couple of videos i looked up some videos last night on youtube and i've seen how uh seen how this is done and i had to i had to look around and search do some searching for uh for some bolts that would fit the that would fit for some nuts that would fit the bolts here and so uh i guess we're just going to get this thing mounted on and then we'll put the belt on and get the cord installed and i think we'll be in business okay everybody here it is now i have the motor properly installed i have all the mo the bolts and nuts here fastened and tightened i have the adjustment here to where exactly to where the belt needs to be i guess it'll that'll do good for now this bracket here kind of flips like back and forth and i guess that's to be the adjustment of the belt here i guess so uh but uh i think this is going to work out very well it's nice and sturdy um uh I'm looking forward to uh, to getting this going, and uh, we're gonna we're just gonna install the cord here, and we're gonna test it, and and we're gonna see what happens. I know this thing's gonna put out a ton of air, and and uh, this will be the most probably the most powerful fan of my collection. So, well, let's go ahead and get this cord installed and give it a test run and and see we'll see it in action Also pretty certain too that this that these cords will they will match up properly. It's always very important that whenever you're you're putting a new cord on that it's the same gauge or it's drawing uh, the same amount of power amp to the motor. It's very important. Okay, here we go, ladies and gentlemen, I present to you, my big industrial squirrel cage fan here is complete. Here it is in its good old glory. Everything is all put together here. It looks to be in great shape. The motor's been mounted properly. It has a nice sturdy hold. Belt's good and tight. Has a has a decent decent spin down to um, to it. Has a good sturdy stand. Now the cord has uh, carefully been installed. I'm gonna I'm gonna start the fan here outside. I did test it off camera and. Uh, <clears throat> I've got to warn you, this thing is, uh, it's going to put out some wind, so, well, I guess we'll go ahead and, let's go ahead and get down to business and get this thing started up, and we'll see it in action. Here we go.
Okay, here it is. Sorry, folks. Putting out a good breeze. Thing seems to be in pretty good work, good working order. I think that belt needs to be tightened up a bit more. Other than that, I think it's doing pretty good. Let's go ahead and unhook it. All right, not too bad. Yeah, I think that belt could, need, could be tightened up a bit more. Uh, it does have a little vibration to it. I think I may need to uh, do it to do a little bit more adjusting with the with the motor a little bit. Uh, more than likely, I am going to have to uh, to get some new uh, ball bearings for the for the uh, for the bearing here. But other than that, uh, I think the fan. Uh, the fan is ready to go. This is going to be a good summertime fan. It's really going to come in handy. Uh, this is the, the first time me putting together a fan like this. So I feel very special about that. So, Well, there you go, everybody. I hope that you've enjoyed this, this put together of my old industrial blower fan. Put in comments, like, subscribe, and more videos to come. Have a good day. Bye-bye.